Well, welcome back to part four of our piston modification. And this is now where it gets exciting because we are now going to machine our piston uh, so we can get the new uh, piston rings in. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of material off the lower side or the bottom side of the first piston ring groove. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I want to clean, clean up this, uh, this surface. And what we know is we know that the uh, this particular top ring groove has got a taper on it, so I want to, I want to clean that up. And uh, so that'll be the first thing I'll do here. And then that will give us a bit of a datum because we'll know uh, how much material we've taken off. We can then measure it, and I probably will do that as well just to sort of get an idea of where we are. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. So the piston is trued up, our tool is centred, and there's no excuses. We've got to get on with it now. As you can probably hear there, that is just, we're just taking a scratch cut from that bottom surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the tool back out, zero this, and what we want to do now is we want to come in just about maybe, maybe two to three thousandths of an inch. There's two and a half. Take much material off, so we're coming every now three thousandths. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to move this tool. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, just to put our new piston ring in here and just to see where we are. And as you can see, there that we're still. Very, still a bit tight, but that is now just going into the slot there, into the into the groove. So we don't need much more material off this now. So what we'll do now is we'll move this out, we'll zero it again, and then we'll take probably another three to three and a half thousandths off that, and then we'll have a look at the. Uh, at the uh, at this gap and we'll see where we are with that so here goes <laughs> We're looking for about a three and a half thousand clearance here. So there's three and a half thousands there. And that is a nice, that is a nice fit in there. So we're now going to cut the second groove.
that's our ring grooves cut. So this is where we've seen how well we've done uh, with reforming the grooves. And uh, I've just installed the, the new piston rings in here. And what I'm going to do is just get them trunk and press them as best I can. And I'm going to use a, a fourth hour feeler gauge. Um, now we were shooting for three and a half thousand clearance, uh, but we had a tolerance of between three and a half and five. So from somewhere in between there, uh, that's going to be quite good. So the top ring, I can just feel resistance on there with, with the fourth hour feeler gauge. And on the bottom ring, it's a little bit tighter, but fourth hour slides in there quite nicely. As you can see there, there's even a bit of resistance. So that's really good. I'm um, quite pleased with that. All we have to do now is a second piston. Now before we go any further, I'd just like to show you the difference between the original oil control ring, uh, which I think was probably a Hepolite ring. Um, certainly it's, it's a very well constructed uh, ring. Um, and the new rings that we're going to be installing. And as you can see, the, the immediate difference is that's a one piece and of course these are in four pieces. And what effectively you have here is you've got your oil scraper ring and in between the second oil scraper ring is a corrugated spacer. And uh, when you're fitting these, you want to try and get these 120 degrees apart, or at least you want to try and get the gaps 120 degrees apart. And then inside that goes what's called an expander ring. And, uh, and this just seems to push the, uh, the whole thing out or centralize it uh, in the groove. But once this is installed, it really is. It's just a lovely fit, as you can see there. And, um, and that should be good for limiting the oil bypass. So here's our second piston. And uh, we've now got the, the ring grooves cut and uh, the new piston rings installed. And let's just have a look and see where we are with this one. Um, we'll start with five thou. And that is very, very tight in there. So that's the top of our limit. Let's, let's come down to four thousandths. Just try and compress these just to give them a good... And that's four thou and we're getting resistance on that which is good so we're right in the limit there. And the second ring We're just getting resistance in there as well. So these pistons are good to go. So we're, we're ready to, to rebuild the engine. And, uh, and in part five, uh, I'll just, I'm not gonna go through the whole engine rebuild because uh, no doubt you guys will have done this before. So, um, I, but I might uh, just, just uh, dip in and out uh, just to show you one or two little, little tricks of these engines. Um, and, a, uh, and then you'll be able to have fun watching me start it up uh, once we, once we get everything reassembled. So we'll see you in part five.